Mrs. Bowen's here. Yes, that's me. There's a young lady to see you. Oh. Inside there. Thank you. Thank you, Jessie. Thank you. Miss Barnes, I'm Helen Gray. I thought it was you from the photo. Is he all right? So far. That sergeant he heard. Well, we don't know anymore, really. Oh, this is the car that I found. Yes, it's mine. Where did you find it? Well, like I said, in your friend's room. Do you know he's got a gun up there? Yes, we well, you... did fire it off a few minutes ago, but they say nobody was hurt. He couldn't mean. It was very thoughtful of you to call me, Mrs. Barnes. Got sort of friendly with him, you know. Not that we knew him very well, but he got talking to our Johnny one day down here on the stairs, and he started helping him with his homework. He isn't well, is he? No. He was in an accident. A terrible accident. Mrs. Barnes, I must talk to him. I know what's wrong with him, I'm sure. Mr. Sanderson is the man to see. He's the welfare officer. I told him you were coming. He's quite a nice man, really. He's up the stairs here. Of course there's no day staff. Just tell whoever it is to keep going through the records until they find him. Now, a Sergeant Morris signed for that Webley. Good. Tell him to get round here with it at once. Another gun? Please, Mr. Saunderson. The inspector's only taking sensible precautions. Excuse me, sir. It's Mrs. Barnes. Now, what does that blasted woman want this time? Well, she's got a young lady with her. They want to talk to Mr. Sanderson. Young lady. Come in. What's your name, please? Helen Gray. Excuse me, miss. Are you Mr. Sanderson? Are you a relation of Mr. Wilson? We're going to be married. Sanderson, did you call Miss Gray? No, I telephoned her. Very considerate of you, Mrs. Barnes. Next time, perhaps you'll take us into your confidence. Miss Gray wanted to talk to me. Why didn't you tell her she was coming? I asked him not to tell you. Mrs. Barnes, is there anything else you haven't told us? And perhaps you'll be kind enough to wait downstairs. You'll come and sit over here, Miss Gray. Why is your friend Wilson hiding in this house? Oh, look, Inspector, Miss Gray asked to speak to me. I don't think anything Miss Gray has to say need be confidential, Mr. Saunderson. But Inspector Thompson shouldn't ask questions like that. He's making it look as if that man's on the run. No one isn't he? No. He doesn't know. He can't know what he's doing. Mm, that's a matter of opinion. But he's not helping us by locking himself in. Where did he get that gun from? I don't know. He... I think it was his father's. But he'd never use it. <laughs> Wouldn't he? Will you let me talk to him? Talk to him? That woman downstairs has talked to him. Sanderson here has talked to him. Nearly got his brains blown out for his trouble. That's not true! Please let me talk to him. Peter will listen to me. I understand what's happened. I... Peter? Thought you said his name was John. Well? I'm sure Miss Gray's only trying to help us. And she can help us. Will you come with me, Miss Gray? Hey, no, hey, no. Wait a minute. Miss Gray is willing to help us. Now, look here. Is I am sure I... the inspector has very good reason to believe that Miss Gray can help. I think it would be better if we left it to him. What's his real name, Miss Gray? I know it isn't John Wilson. You're doing no good by keeping this information from us. I want to talk to him. It's no good, Miss. Now, come on, tell me his real name. Let me try and talk to him. If that does no good, then I'll tell you his name. I want his name. If I... If I give you his name, will you let me talk to him? All right. His name's Watson. <laughs> 